Hello, everyone. Hi. How are you? It is I, Trooper SJP, and this is the Academic Foxhole. How are you? How are you doing? Hey, everyone. It is good to see all of you all. I uh, just got back from work. You know, I teach until 3, 4.15. It's true, Krellen. It is true. Krellen knows. I'm in, uh, I'm in Professor Drag. I've got my little pocket square and everything. Uh, so I teach until 4.15, but we had a paper due, and so I did not get out of there rapidly. But I was like, oh, no, I've got to get back. Anyway, I'm back. I, But you know what? I will not be teaching at this time next year. Because, you know... I'll be I'll be on leave. I'll teach one seminar uh, next year. Oh, it's gonna be so good. It's going to be so good. Uh, hello, Sir Ice. Uh, Ice Ice Baby. Your TA has one job. Get you. This is true. This is true. Rissa is correct. My TA has one job, which is to get me out of there on time. There were there was a paper due. Students were freaking out. Uh, but it's good. Uh, I'm pretty sure that she has more than that job, but that's like the big job. Uh, the sublime joy in your eyes when saying that was palp. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, DSB says, but then he gets distracted talking to his, t to his TA and then it was all for naught. We did have to go over grading. It was, we had, we had to go for grading today, but I think it's good. And also, oh, I ate food. I'm gonna note that I ate food today. So there is that. I will also eat food in between stream today and Critical Role, which I will be hosting. That's 10 p.m. Eastern on this channel. So Critical Role uh, is apparently it's 6, 3, 1, 5 p.m. Uh, so look, I wanna just tell you what's going on. What's new and exciting? What's happening? Um, I am streaming today with you all. We have a giveaway, and it is uh, S Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. It's a multiplayer first-person shooter uh, for for PC only, so someone who is not me can have it. Ooh, there's a cake. A cake. Oh, I posted 6.315 p.m. Yeah, you know. It's like 6.315 p.m. It's that, it's that time. It's th that time. It's like it's like a special time. It's like military time. Also, I really love that cake. That cake. That emote. That all my nom flashbacks are virtual. Um, I don't think I have that cake. Do I have that cake? Because, uh, I feel like I should have that cake. It looks so delicious. Or actually, maybe I just want cake. I mean, this is also, uh possible that maybe I just want cake because cake is delicious and I, I don't think I have it. I don't think I have that cake. Uh, is that, uh, hello, I'm Bar Garwin. Um, I'm killing gods or at least planning to kill gods. That's fair. Uh, is that time from Outer Worlds? It might be time from Outer Worlds. Amazing how many layers they got in there and it's still, yeah, I know, right? They, it's like the, whoever did that did a really good job of of making that making the cake like still read oh is it it is a little red dot emoticon hey ice bunny dot so great dot is so great everyone little red dot is so great i have got mm, 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 mm. sorry i've got news that i can't really tell you about but i can tell you a little bit about it I think I'm gonna throw on a pot of coffee so I have the energy to make the fam dinner tonight. Toad, that is fair. Uh, Dot is great. So guess what, everybody? Somebody's watching me and I have no privacy. Whoa, I always feel that. Somebody's watching me. Tell me, is it just a dream? Sir Ice? Thank you, thank you so much for that follow. It is much appreciated. Welcome in all officially to the Academic Foxhole. You are one of our battle buddies. You get to hang out with us. Um, I have, uh, oh, right, squirrel. Uh, so it looks like the cast for the French Resistance game is set. Barring some sort of work catastrophe, I think the cast is set. 
I'm going to send out a message to all four of them, bringing them together. And uh, I'm telling you the cast is good. The cast is good. You will like it. Um, I mean, I've got a bunch of stuff. I've, I've got one month before the game starts. So I've got a bunch of stuff that I have to do. Uh, uh, but it'll be fine. And maybe I'll, depending on how life goes, I might even get in a, an, a Friday planning stream in February. We will see. Javai says, it is not a dream. You turned on your camera and started broadcasting to the interwebs. Of course people are watching and you have no privacy. Wait, wait this isn't a dream? Wah! Uh, you will like it. Oh, I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you. Um, the, mm, the cast is gonna be really good. I, you know, February's gonna be really busy for me. Not, not thinking about that right now. I just wanna tell you. So Saturday, uh, we've got The Outer Worlds. We're gonna find out more about what's going on on this uh, Groundbreaker space station. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. I will be uh, running part two of C uh, Cthulhu Confidential Capital Color with Algernon Bolden on this channel. So uh, I want you all to, I hope I hope you all can make it and show up and be there. Uh, hello, Takarosh. Uh, wah, go on, brethren, hello, hello. Uh, will you see Mrs. Olga again? Olga, probably not. And will we parlez-vous français? I feel like we're all like, you know how when, Everybody's theoretically speaking a different language when they're all just speaking English. Right, you, you know what I mean. Uh, so just, just sort of noting it, you know what I should probably do? I should probably, um, oh, that's okay. You know, I try not to, I try not to overlap, but it does sometimes happen because sometimes that is the only day that can happen. Um, but when, but when, but when? But when we're we're doing so, so three o'clock Eastern time, Cthulhu Confidential, uh, Capital Color. Just gonna, I'm just gonna do this so that we're in it. Um, with Algernon Bolden, that's gonna, and I'm gonna put up a little advertisement uh, tonight probably. We can just rename English Common. He said, dripping, yes, that's what we'll do. Just English is common. Or maybe it's French. Um, I have an idea about what I'm going to do right now, but uh, we're going to... There are so many bodies. Why are there so many bodies? By the way, these bodies look great. I mean, when, oh, when will the French resistance be happening? Thank you. Um, do you mean in terms of the date or the day? What are you thinking, date or day? Because I can answer uh, both. I'll just answer both. I was real busy last weekend with my new job, but I should be around this weekend. Oh, good. You have to let me know how that went. Uh, how, how is your new job going? So look, I think there's a lot of death right around here that we haven't really explored fully, and I think we should do that. That's what I think we should do. Start date. Um, I think we need to get all of this in here. That person sounds Scottish to me. See, the problem is, this person is dead, clearly, but I don't think they... These people are not doing well. Hello. Hello, people not doing well. Hmm. Um, it looks, so we're, it looks to me like we're going to be doing this uh, on Fridays, the stream will be on Fridays, and, uh, hello. How are you doing over here? Um, oh. No, no, I don't want to do that. I'm just looking around. Oh. What is that? Oh, look, that's a tentacle, everybody. That's a huge, giant tentacle. 
that's... There are more tentacles outside. They're just all so... Uh, tentacles. It's bad, everybody. It's really bad. Very un... I'm displeased about all of that. Um, I feel like we've got... You. Oh, we knew that. Well, that doesn't help us. Um, I'm, I'd be looking forward to Saturday evening in my time. There'll be time for a beaten, AKA, I don't know why I'm using that accent. Uh, India after region tag team championship. Ooh, oh, that sounds fun. Still waiting for my revision notes, my first draft, but the boss seems generally pleased with the initial effort. Oh, that's good. So here's what I'm gonna tell you, is what I'm thinking about. We're gonna just explore this area and see what is here. So we're going to run on Fridays is uh, is when the French Resistance is going to be. It's going to be on Fridays. And we're going to start in March. And I think the start date is March. Is that a number? That says 43. That says 44. Oh, hey, their hammocks are... Uh, are um, marked. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, oh yeah, so no, that's, th no worries. Midshipman exploded. I think we might be kind of good here. So uh, I think that Friday's the, uh, is this, this is correct, right? That Friday is the, is the uh, seventh? The, the first, that, that Friday in, in, in March, Friday the seventh, I think. Also, you're not letting me get over here, are you? Oh, I dispute that. I think that's terrible. So yeah, so I think the French Resistance game will start March 7th. Um, and the start time is something that I'm going to have to work out with the cast. Uh, the first Friday March is the 6th? Is it? Oh. March 6th of the Friday. That's, then the start date will be March, March 6th. That, that, that will be our start date. March 6th, there you go. Um, and the start time is a tad unclear because basically we're going to start between six or seven. Like we might start at seven o'clock Eastern time. It de sort of depends on when people get off of work. Um, the first Friday in February is the seventh and normally that would make the same March, but something, oh. Oh, thanks, Sir Ice. Thank you. Hi, Chicken Wolf. So, some people are murdered by a cannon in an epic way up in our face. Sir Ice, Sir Ice Ice Baby, where are you at? Which country are you living in? Tell us more. Hey, Kulan, how are you doing? Ouch. Who are you? Oh, you're this guy. Oh, you can't sleep? Oh, that's no good. Okay, so here's the problem. This guy is shot with a cannon, but I don't think there's an a, attacker. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? Oh no, but somebody must have lit the fuse. This person. The name game, come on everybody. I said, now let's play a game. I bet you I can make a rhyme out of anybody's name. The first letter of the name, I treat it like it wasn't there. And then a B or an F or an M will appear. And then I say Bo out of B, then I say the name, then banana fan or info. And then I say the name again with an F, very plain. Then a fee, phi, and a mo. And then I say the name again with an M this time. And there isn't any name that I can't rhyme. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Levi, 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 Bo Beva, Banana, Fana, Fo Fiva, Fifa, Mo Miva, Levi. Thank you for that sub, Levi. 30 months. That's so old. That's so old. March 15th would be a great day to launch a, a Roman Rosinski. Fair. That, but then what you do is you just kill Caesar. The police are smashing down a door at the old people's apartment building across the street because of a medical emergency. Ooh, oh, you're American. Ooh, hey, Sir Ice, what's, what's your home state? What's your home state? Or where, where are you at? So it looks to me like uh, this person lit the fuse. But we actually don't know this person's name. Troop, troop, boop, boop, doo, doo, boop. Uh, yeah, I hope I hope everything's okay over there. So we've got a we've got a bit of a. Oh wait, who who are you? I don't know if this person is a top man. To be honest, I'm concerned that this person is not a top man because they're down here. Uh, Lighting fuses. Also, I don't know this person's name. So I have I have some concerns. I have a concern that that person may not be a top man. Also, it looks like there's a body down here. There's like a lot of bodies. Like this is just bad. This is bad. Two response cards and a name. Oh, that's that's really bad. Ooh. So probably starting at 7 p.m. Eastern time, this French resistance camp, uh, French resistance campaign, which I'm excited about. But I've got a lot to do before then. I'm waiting. I've got to get all the, you know, maybe a top man lighting a fuse before the cannon wheels are. I mean, just clearly, so he's a power bottom. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So this is bad. And the, here's the problem with this person right here, right? This person is blasted with a cannon, but uh, I don't, but I think we have to see actually who did it. And I don't think I can do that very well because, um, you know, I feel like that's actually a little bit. Now this person right here is crushed by a cannon, right? This person just crushed. Crushed. Wait, is that a tentacle around the cannon? Oh. Probably. Somebody's watching me, and I have no privacy. Whoa, I always feel that. Somebody's watching me. Tell me, is it just a dream? Hey, little red dot. Thank you for the follow. Uh, we just are having some murder happening right now. Is, is what's going on? Uh, we're, yeah, we just we we have some people being crushed and murdered. Uh, oh, hey, look, that's a tentacle. So um, these people here are trying to. They're being murdered by a tentacle. Yep, tentacle. Tentacle. <laughs> yeah, but this, that is a travesty, Dot. Why, how could you not be following me? But that's okay, because, you know, then you get this, the follow song. Um, <laughs> yeah, what have you watched? What have you walked into? This is um, Return of the Obra Dinn, which is really good. It's like a puzzle game where you're trying to figure out what happened to, like, there's a ship called the Obra Dinn, and you want to find out what happened to everyone on it. Spoiler. I think they're almost all dead, and uh, there are bad things happening, like large tentacles murdering lots of people. Like, I don't know, I can't even go upstairs. I can't go upstairs right now, I don't think. No, I can't. But if you were upstairs, you'd probably see a monstrously huge kraken murdering all the people. Uh, I know, the aesthetic is beautiful, and the gameplay is really kind of cool. Uh, this person here, this person here, I think, cannot be a top man. Uh, power bottoms and tentacles down below. And oh yeah, and there are giant spiders, which are also awkward. Uh, yeah, this person here is the one who did it. Also, what's happening to you? 
What is everybody doing? Why is everybody, look, hey, Dot, look, there are tentacles out there. If you look out the window, there are tentacles. Porthole, pardon me, porthole. Sorry, sailing people, porthole. Just, yes. Uh, the I think the guy that was shot by the cannon by the beast because the fuse was lit, but then the beast grabbed it and moved it. Oh. They have to push the cannons back to reload them. <laughs> More hey, uh, you know, Dot, I was just telling everybody, I don't know, you might find this interesting. Uh, I'm running a French resistance campaign uh, on my channel starting in March, March the 6th. And um, I just got uh, confirmation of the last cast member. So all four cast members have been confirmed just today. And I'm gonna send an email to all the cast members uh, now that we're all together. And so like, I've got this cast for this French resistance campaign. And uh, I just thought I would share this information. My bad, the elevator comes. Oh, you're from Texas. All my exes live in Texas. No, it's just the country music song. Uh, you know, I was stationed in Texas when I was in the army. Those cannons aren't restrained. The recoil would move them back dangerously. Mm-hmm. Yeah, little red dot. I don't know. You might find that interesting to know that I've got a French resistance campaign. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, I have not announced to anyone here on this channel who the cast is, though. Um, they, they, they're not... Oh. This person was crushed by the beast, but we don't know this person's name. That's that's terrible. Well, this person's crushed by a beast. How about you? Are you also... Oh, you were shot by that cannon. This is all bad. They're trying not... Like, it's all... Like, this is all bad for all these people. It's not... This person also dies. I don't even... Yeah... Uh, what part was I stationed in? Oh, um, they're terrible. I will give you a hint about the cast. I'm not one of them. Uh, Thor, hold on. Thorgard Odinson, actually you are one of the cast members? I thought we discussed this. Awkward. Uh, <laughs> um, I was stationed in San Angelo, Texas, third biggest city in West Texas. It's not a very big city. It's quite small. Uh, and um, yeah, I was stationed in, in, also what happened to this poor person? Um, how did they die? It looks like we don't know how they died, but they're right here. Uh, I think they must be, they must have been one of our poor cannon crushed people, but I, it's a little uncertain for me exactly what kind of death they got but I feel like we should probably be able to find out. Don't you think? You were stationed in Mayport, Florida. Oh, ooh, how does Billy Porter do it? I feel like Billy Porter just has, do you think this person is, how do you think this person died? I feel like we need to find this out. We're gonna come back, we'll come back. I gotta get ready for a stream. I just wanted to share some loving, oh, oh, your cake is so delicious. Hey, Dot, Dot, can I tell them something? Can I tell them something? That I love that cake. I love that cake. I was just bragging about how great that cake is. Um, Dot, can I can I tell them something? Can I can I tell them something? Can I tell them a secret? Can I tell them a secret? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hey, guess what, everybody? Uh, this maybe swept out the window because I mean, look at that. Because that is awkwardly bad. You know, like that is. That's bad. Uh, um, so, what people may not know is that one, hello, dead body. That's awkward. There are a lot of dead bodies here. Uh, one of the cast members for this French resistance game, uh, one of them, which is gonna be done in fate, is, I know, I've got to focus. So one of the cast members in this French Resistance game, I'm so excited, I can't even tell you. I'll, I'll, just one, I'm gonna give just a little spoiler, one, is Little Red Dot. Yeah, I know, 
little red dot who's right in chat right now right now is gonna be in the french resistance game oh no my drop what i can't oh oh my gosh like it's like wow it's a secret okay and here's the thing i never told little red dot she didn't know no she did know <laughs> She knew, she knew. Uh, I'm telling all the secrets. How cool is that? Yeah, so Little Red Dot, who is one of my faves, um, is is gonna be in the French Resistance campaign. And as a matter of fact, I am going to be in another Little Red Dot campaign starting in April, if I remember correctly, a, an Overlight campaign. So that's gonna be really good. Uh, because if the closer one was shot and remained in the ship, the other guy on the outside is nowhere to be seen. Mm. I think Billy Putter does it by not getting distracted mid-sentence by random corpses. That is possible. That is... Walk away. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's going to be... So, I'm going to be... So, Little Red Dot's going to be in, in my French Resistance campaign, which is great because I'm going to get, like, a fate aficionado uh, in the show. Mm. I'm not all the spoilers. Like, there are other people in the campaign who I've not spoiled yet. It's like, slowly. Um, who is this little red dot you speak of? Never heard of him or her. Just just a little red dot. Um, I think little red dot is the country of Singapore, I think, is, is how that goes. Yes? No? What? Um, and, yeah. And then, so, uh, Dot is going to be running an Overlight campaign. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about Overlight. No, but did you... Oh, mm, didn't... Wait, but... I felt like you wouldn't, what? Uh, what? Oh, no. But just, oh, wait. Oh, uh, nothing to see here. <laughs> Those were not the droids you're looking for. But, but you did announce that we're gonna do a little epilogue for the Proloin Code. Hmm? In August? Uh, is the little red dot on a galaxy map showing where we are in the universe? Yes. Yes. Hey, Cyclonus. So I'm really excited. Oh, Dot, aren't you starting something this week? Aren't you starting something this week? This week, right? A new, sh a new, uh, uh wait, wait. Uh, no, you're doing a Dragon Age, right? You're doing a Dragon Age on your channel? Yes. <laughs> Sorry for being quiet, says Takirosh. Hands are full with needle and thread. Hey. Next week, Dragon Age, are you excited? Also, Dot, how many shows do you have on your channel right now? Oh, Savrick is gymming it. Nice. Okay, that's awesome. I was like, Dot, how many games are you gymming right now? I was a little worried. Uh, I was a little concerned. Um, so now you, because you played some Dragon Age. No, you, you played uh, Game of Thrones. Dragon Age is with the uh, age system. Oh. There's just so many dead people here. I really worry about this. Uh, I'm gonna hit this person one more time. Um, it's part of the new incubation series I'm running on the dot lot where people submit NGM. Oh, that's so cool. Well, that's cool. How many sessions? Is it a one shot? Is it like a, a little mini series? They get four weeks and four players. Oh, oh, dot. How cool is that? Hmm. Dot, dot. <sighs> so if people don't know already, Little Red Dot's the coolest and is just doing really cool things over on their channel. Like, I don't even know what else to say. This is just, I get, oh and oh. Like, I just, oh, Dot, why are you so cool? You have to hear this, hear this doom. Ooh. The name game. Come on, everybody. I said, now let's play a game. I bet you I can make a rhyme out of anybody's name. The first letter of the name. I treat it like it wasn't there. And then a B or an F or an M will appear. And then I say Bo at a B, then I say the name, then banana fan or info. And then I say the name again with an F very plain, then a feet, fine and a mo. And then I say the name again with an M this time, and there isn't any name that I can't rhyme. 
But if the first two letters are ever the same, I drop them both and say the name I like Bob. Bob drop the B's bow of old Fred. Fred drop the F's for red. Oh Mary, Mary, drop the M's mo airy. That's the only rule that is contrary. Mm, 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 mm. B right, B right, B right, both E right, banana fanna, fo fee right, fee fi mo me right. B right. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you for that Reese of, and seriously music, trying to distract me, but I was like, I will focus like a laser on the name game. I'm telling you. Oh, I will see you later, little red dot. Oh, why is my, oh, no, I don't just, no backing up. Um, it's the same for Kronos, going to space. Oh, that's so exciting. Space, this is the screaming over the, I know like, I'm just trying to sing a joyful song and there's just a little bit of screaming. Uh, <laughs> the death screams give the name game something special. That is true. I'm not wearing my glasses and read that as Corgi is going to space before squinting. Have a great game, Dot. So that was not the body I wanted to hit. I wanted to hit this body down here uh, because I feel like, I feel like there's somebody. Trooper, trooper, bo booper, banana, fanna, fo fooper. Serial killer who sings the name game as he does his work. Mm, maybe look out the hole. Yeah, I could, can I, can I, whoop. Nope. Oh, but there's definitely, do you think, here's the question. You know what? I think we're gonna go with your thought on this one, which is the shot with a cannon by the beast, by a terrible beast. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I I feel very proud of ourselves right now. Yes. Yes. The Hugh Lewis the News speech from American Psycho about the name game instead. Yes. Look at like I feel oh, Dot, if you've not played this, you should totally play it. It's very, very cool. You've got a whole you've got a book with like a like a map, and we've got some cool artwork where we can see all the different people on this ship. M most of them are all dead. That's not a spoiler. Everybody's dead. It's kind of terrible. Like this person was spiked. This person was knifed. I don't know what happened to that person yet. This person was clubbed. Uh, this person's alive. Uh, this person was torn apart by a beast. I mean, different things happen. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's all, uh, uh, yeah. I don't know who that person is. So like there's, you know, it's a just, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like some, there's a lot of people here who maybe once had lives, but now have all been killed in sort of awkward ways. Yeah, super, oh, poor sad awkward person. But there's, there's a person that I know we've got to figure out what happened to them. And uh, yes, it's this person here. We're gonna just listen to their, their cries of pain and see if we can get an accent accent we're looking for. Actually, I think we got most of them. Yeah, I think we got most of them. We just don't know what happened to this person here. But this person does die in this scene, but I just don't know how they die. That's the awkward part. Oh no, they die in part four. Oh. Hold on. If this person dies in part four. Interesting. If they, okay, I think we might be able to get this. So this person dies, this person. We are in three right now, I believe. And this person dies in four. So we just have to figure out, figure that out. And then I think we got it, maybe. Cause I just don't know where this person dies. 
The scene where the cannon fires, they are about to get hit. The next scene is when they get hit, I imagine. Yeah. I might die a force of two. So I think this person... So looking at where their body is, their body seems to be... They're not this person, but I think they are over here. I think... I think that's them. No, that's part three. We, we, they die in part four, right? It's death seven three. No. No, that's not what I want. So if you look, wait, hold on. So we look at this map, right? We see where they die. They die here and their body is right there. So they're in part four. So their body should be just a little bit of screaming, everybody. So it looks like we need to find their body. That's not their body. Is there more than one body here that we can find? Because, oh, actually, is there a body over here? It doesn't look, it looks like there's just a lot of blood here. But from the map, it looks like, yeah, this is, this is, uh, seven, four, this is seven, four. I mean, they got hit point blank by a cannon. Might not be much of anything left. Probably. You know what? There might actually be more than one body here. I think you're right. I think that both of those people got hit by that cannon. I think you are right. Yeah, a leg here, a leg there. There's one body. Is there... I assume there must be another body that... Uh, yeah. I'm going to go with what we're thinking. Not this person, but this person. Yes, I think this unknown soul also gets shot with the cannon uh, by the beast. We cannot find their body, but I think, I feel like that must be it, like straight, straight through the woods, right? Like I, <laughs> at least the hat survived in one piece. Hey, there's your hat. I, I think that has to be it, because I feel like their body uh, must have just been completely obliterated. That is the only thing that really makes sense. Because we know that they're dead in this scene. And that seems to be the only thing that makes sense to me. That they are part of this explosion of badness right here. Like, this is... Like, I don't see their... Well... No, not you. I'm not talking to you. Uh, yeah, I think they must have... That's a tentacle. Yeah, I think this is... I think they're part of this... Uh, yeah. I mean, this scene happens seconds at most after the last scene. They were flying after being... Yeah, so I feel... Yeah. So we're going to do that. They didn't get... Are we using blasted or shot? Oh, I think we have to do blasted, right? No, shot. Let's see. Blasted, blasted with a cannon. Oh, shot is blasted. It doesn't look like they got pulled out by a tentacle because I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing... The only problem is I cannot confirm their body, which is a little bit awkward. I would like to confirm their body, but it doesn't look like it. And I don't think... But I did hear a French name. Did you hear that? Zafuse. There was a French sounding person. And I'm wondering if... I feel like 
here's the thing. I feel like I heard a French accent ish. And I think it was this person, right? The fuse. So that that so that sounded very French to me. So I think the question we're going to have to ask ourselves is, could this person have been do we have a French person who is either top or bottom? Uh <laughs> who this could be. We still don't know what happened to our uh, surgeon's mate, a bunch of people shot Scotland, or it could be Belgium, India, Ireland, Scotland, China, Russia, England, Denmark, Wales, India, Sierra Leone. No. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Mm, no, I don't think so. I mean, I'm definitely hearing an accent. Oh, hey. We had like a Scottish guy, right? We have one Scottish top man, and that could might be useful for us. And we have a an Irish, so we have some people we need to place. How are you feeling about that? I'm going to, uh... I want... Look, I have to hear this accent again, because I want your take on it. I want your take on this accent, like, if you can place its nationality. So you'll have to listen to it, and then tell me what you think. One more time with the getting shot. Point blade trajectory is not uh, a distance the average 47 pound naval cannon could fire. Mm. That could be. Max in 44, it'll blow a home on ground, it'll double as an entrenching tool. Uh, that could be, that could have been some sort of a, it could be Germanic. Right, it could be. So if we're looking at uh, Scotland, China, yeah, could be something Germanic, but I'm not seeing it. We're going to have to, does the book tell you, who, it doesn't, it only tells you um, if the person who was, who died said it. Oh, so that person, oh wait, interesting. But we actually know who this person is, I think. Oh, maybe we don't. Yeah, Christian Wolf, right? So we got that, that's like a Germanic one. So that's not gonna be good for us. So let's go outside. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. So I think we've got as much as we probably can get from that. There's so many bodies. There's so many bodies. Like, so many bodies. So what I'm thinking we should probably do, if we look at our, if we look at our, um, I suppose, you know what we could do? We could see what we're missing. Let's go to our chapters and see what we're missing. Yeah, it sounds like a, a sexy, the, does the book tell you, yeah, uh, is there a pile of blood in that room you couldn't get into during the scene? Um, that's a good question. Let's see. It's a good question. There are flies. So this is this big pile of blood, which we saw before. Oh, so bad. So many bodies, and it was supposed to be a three hour tour. What happened? Uh, another cannon. There's a beautiful ocean outside. It's gorgeous. Uh, but, you know, a little bit of death. 
Someone definitely needs to have a conversation with the entertainment director for this cruise. I don't think they did their job very well. Well, it certainly was exciting, but maybe they mistook uh, exciting for entertaining. That's that's all. I was just pondering uh, Foxhole a second and was reminded that the maxim from the 70 maxims of maximally efficient mercenaries. Uh, tell me more. So look, I think, um, let's look at our, let's look at our, this unknown soul was crushed by falling cargo. You know what? I think this is one of the Peters brothers, right? Yeah, this is one of the Peters brothers. But the thing is, we don't know which one of the two Peters brothers this is. So we have these two Peters brothers, and one of them is crushed by a cargo, one of them is not. And so that's a little awkward. So like we have some information, but we don't have it all. And we have to figure out, like it's very frustrating because, oh, there are a lot of people in here. Yeah, there are a lot of people in this room. Does the game ever address what the giant spider monsters were or where they came from? I think that when we decide to leave, we'll probably find out more, I'm assuming. You know what I think we're gonna do? Here's my thought. What I wanna do is find the, um, the, uh, uh, so this is an unknown seaman who's just come to a, a tragic illness. I think maybe if we could get some of the topmen a little bit, that might make us, because look at this, we actually, uh, we've been doing pretty good. I think if we, like, I need to figure out who that person is, but that person is clearly some sort of mate or steward. So what I want to do is I want to get to where we can see the topmen, because I think that might help us quite a bit if we can at least get rid of that. Uh, so many people dead. So many people dead. Oh. We should probably be able to figure out that person. But let's go here. Let's do this. Let's do Soldiers of the Sea and see if this... Yeah. I feel like we might be able to get some business here. So this is a body that is front of the ship, right around here, one of these bodies. And Soldiers of the Sea is 6-1. Oh, what happened? Oh, Thor, Thor Guard son, hold on. Stop that. Wait, Thorgard, we're, just wait. We will make you a regular. No, no, don't, don't. Oh, I can't do it. I don't have access. Um, is, I know, but this game doesn't let me have access to the, the, when this game is up, I cannot move my cursor off of this screen. So I can't go over there. If Jer, if Jer is here, 6-1, Jer will add you, but, uh, will oh put it thank you well this is not what i want this is unholy captives what the hell is going on what do you know about these things about the chest and your dead friends very shell? What shell? Um, so this was not the scene that I wanted, but this is the scene that I need? Maybe? Okay, so let's, um, see what we can get here. Let's see if we can, uh, what we can get here. Uh, I'll put, thank you. Unmade gaming clip and, ooh. So, uh, that looks like a spike. 
Oh, so this beast starts shooting some spikes at people. Okay, so this I think is probably our doctor or our doctor's mate. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have an idea. This looks like a doctor, but I bet our doctor's already dead. So I bet this person... Oh, but no, it is this... I think we might have something, everyone. Yes. Okay, okay. This here is got has got to be the surgeon's mate. Uh, I just clicked... Oh, thanks. Looks like at least one person made their reflex saving throw and at least one person failed it. Yep. I'm looking for... The butcher is second to the doctor. Hold on. We have an officer, purser, steward, ship steward, second mate steward, a bunch of top men, seamen. Oh, so this is... Hmm. Hmm. Well, awkward, awkward. So, th okay. Wait, who is this person? They are at the bodies. Who are you? You are our surgeon. Hmm. <laughs> I was given. All right, let's let let me let me let's. Let's have a thought about this, shall we? Let's um, look at our crew. Like maybe right there, surgeon's mate, James Wallace. But maybe that's not James Wallace. Maybe we already have a James Wallace. I bet we already have, okay, so you're not James Wallace. But, oh, you know what? What if I'm wrong? What if, what if I haven't, yeah, yeah, yeah. His, his buddy or his buddy. So here's what I'm thinking, everybody. I think I might have made an error about who James Wallace is. And if that is true, we just fix this. So we just have to find out who we said that James Wallace was because I think it's wrong. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, so, Yes, his, his buddy or his buddy. So we just need to find um, who we said James Wallace was. And, and then, then we'll be good. James Wallace, where are you? Patrick O'Hagan. It should be someone who isn't finished. Paul Moss, James Wallace, the surgeon's mate. I think that is not James Wallace, actually. I think you are unknown, but I think you're some sort of officer of some sort. I think you're some sort of mate or officer, but I think you're probably not James Wallace because I think this is James Wallace. I think so. I, I cannot which means I do have some questions about that other person, but it would make sense, right, that this person here is James Wallace, the surgeon's mate, because he's there with the medical bag being helpful. I I feel like we did a good job here, and I feel like you, yeah, right? Master of the poop deck. Yeah, this is not great for you. What about you? Oh. Hmm. It, did you? Oh, hey, look. Do you think this guy got killed too by a spike? It looks like it killed both of them. It, I mean, he's clearly killed, but he has a little bit of a spike going through him too. Uh, so there's a question about that? Through and through, right? That's what it looks like. Who are you? Uh, you're one of our top men who was electrocuted, but we don't know which one. Yeah, I have a bit of a question about this guy here. I am 
concern this guy. Yeah. So let's let's come back to this person for a moment. Yeah, he would have to have surgery, and like, I, d I don't get the sense that, you know, medicine was really great at this time, is all I'm saying. So we have people now doing work here. One of, that's, uh, I think that's Lars Linda. And yeah, organ damage, probably gonna get, you are one of our Peter's brothers. And who are you? Another one of our, okay, so we've got a bunch of people working up here to haul. Who are you? First mate, that's fair. Who are you? One of our shooters, an unknown seaman, which sounds dirty, but it's totally not. Who are you? One of our officers, third mate. And who are you all? Another one of our unknown seamen. And this guy who was shot with a cannon. <sighs> All right. So I think we learned a little bit more. I think this person here. I think. Unholy Captives Part 1. Oh, I think he dies. He must die later. 5-1? Yeah. Spiked by Terrible Beast. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's good. So we've got this whole crew right now. And the question is, these are probably... Where are we at right now? Uh, we're Soldier of the Sea, Soldier of the Sea. On a, mm, what even, what even are channel points? Oh, I wanted to go here, but we didn't end up here. That's what happened. Uh, yeah, I think we just did it. I think we got a good thing here, but I would really like to figure out what our language was here. Like, what scene are we in? Well, let's see if we can, um... Hello. So awkward for you. See, so you guys, we're in Unholy Captives Part 1. What are you doing with those, Levi? Levi. We're in Unholy Captives Part 1. This is where we're at. And it says, lift this out, take it below. What the hell's going on? What do you know about these things, about the chest and your dead friends? What are these monsters? Where are they from? You must tell us everything. This is your fault. The shell must be protected. We will all die. He talks about a shell, very dangerous shell. What shell? And all of these people died. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think these people all died a little bit later. Hmm. I want some electrocution, everybody. Oh, hey, I'm 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 here of the rat. I'm a water rat. So that. This person was torn apart by a beast. This person gets some spiking. What about you? Uh, unholy captives. What the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? Yeah. 
very dangerous. Shell? Oh. What shell? So that's that body. I... Mm. Look, I'm trying to find... Look, there's a whole scene where we get a whole bunch of top men who are being electrocuted in terrible, terrible ways, and I want to find them. Maybe it's this guy. Let's see, it's this guy. Maybe. Yes. We're tr we we figured out we we fixed something. Okay, so we're gonna just do a quick check of the people who are in the rigging, so that we can identify who our. Oh, there are spiders over there, everybody. Uh, that's. <laughs> I'd be throwing it overboard and be done with it. We'd say, yeah, just throw it overboard. Do not let it stick around. Can you, uh, can I get this person? Like, cause here's a top person right over there that I would like to, who's trying to escape from a creepy spider. But I don't think I can identify them right now. But there's clearly a person right over, like, oh. Oh, hey, look. There are a bunch of people over there too. Um, I would like to be able to maybe climb down. Can I do that? Could I could I climb down maybe? Hello, sad person being electrocuted. It's super awkward for you. I'm really sorry. Like that was you know how some things are awkward? That would be uh many of those things. This is our uh guy from Papua New Guinea. This is one of our Chinese topmen, but we have a, quite a few from China. We have four, Huang Li, Zhi Zhang, Li Hong, and Wei Li, but I'm not quite certain uh, which one is which. So that's, yeah, the spiders also came from the sea, so that is not great. And, oh, hello. And then we have you. I wish I could get a little bit closer so I could sort of get all of these people, but uh, you are a topman. Okay, we have four Chinese topmen, right? Who are you? Yeah, they're like creepy spider crabs. You are not from China. You are either from Scotland or England. So you are one of those two. One of two people, everybody. We have got that. What about you? Oh, okay. You're a Russian. All right. Okay, I feel like we're getting somewhere with this process of elimination. Um, we've got basically Scotland or Ireland. I just need to hear their accent. I need to hear this guy's accent. And then we can probably tell who he is. This guy. Is clubbed. So he's either Scottish or Irish. I think we might be able to find him out inside the captain's quarters. So let's get out of here because I have an idea about this. I think, I wish I could get, uh, there are a couple other people I'd like to talk to up here, but they're not gonna let us do that. But I think, MMKTR, I'm Russian. I, I actually think we might be able to figure out that one person work with me in the captain's quarters. This one here, his body's over there in the corner. I think this might be him. Let's see.
Well, um, so here's the thing. We have been able to identify him being murdered, but we were not able to figure out what his accent was because we just are getting gurgles. So rather than like, uh, uh, you know. So that is a little awkward because we're not actually being able to, uh, well, let's go here. What we need is to get his accent. This is what we need. So let's, um, let's see what we can do. Try English. Uh, the problem is, is we've got, here, we're gonna, hello. Hi, dead people. So all I need to do is hear him talk. If I can hear him talk, I think we might be able to place him. So let's see if going backwards on our dead body count will happen. Let's see. I know, Mama. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. So this guy gets murdered. Uh, that, the captain's killing a lot of people. Uh, that's true. And this is our person right now that we're wanting to catch. That guy. But we still don't have him talking. So we need to catch this space. We're still trying to find this guy. All we need to do is find him talk. It was a Hungarian or a Finnish gurgle to you? Um, let's hit this body. See if we can get some... That's Scottish. You bastards may taste exactly what I give you. Hey, you got shot, but you, my friend, or Henry Henry Brennan, you are William Hoskett. And you are trying to uh, make your way around. So the question that I have then, Captain, open the door, kick it in. Let's break it down, take more shells. Uh, William Hoskett and Henry Brennan. Yeah, he's on the stairs. But I think all those people are accounted for. William Hoskett is from Scotland, so that's who's speaking. Look, we actually have got a lot of these people done. We just are missing a couple of people, really. And it's a lot of these, like, these folks? Uh... I unlocked. The 70 Maxims is a defictionalized de hard book of aphorisms and malevolent canon from the webcomic Schlock Mercenary, and is beloved by mercenaries, pirates, smugglers, black ops, high-level military officers, privateers, CEOs, trademark attorneys, and tenured professors in the 31st century. Written in the universe, uh, the 25th century by a con man in prison that quickly disseminated to a large and varied group. That is amazing. Well, I mean, I suppose they did sound sort of Canadian footsteps. Hello, Jer, how are you? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep following this guy backwards. We have, we're, we're going to follow him backwards is what we're going to do. And maybe we can figure out what he sounds like. Because if we can do that, if we can figure out his accent, then I feel like we should be able to... The Doom Part 7, the Doom Part 8. We just need him talking. Um, we just need to have him talk. If we can have him talk, 
then we can figure out because most of the top men are Chinese. So if we can figure that out. Oh, what are you doing in there? Huh. Some murder there. An escape. Uh, what was that, the Doom Part 7? Is that what that is? Let's, uh... There's so many of them! So, I just want to tell you, for the record, right now, one thing that is uh, quite vexing... ...are these two people. Right? These two right here are brothers. And I don't know which one is the real brother, which one is not. Well, which one is which. And that is a tricky thing. But we can... But you know what? How about... If we go back here for a moment. Um, we have got... Somebody from Scotland. We haven't really worked out yet. We've got someone from... The ship steward from India, I feel like we should be able to figure them out, right? The one on the left is always the fake brother. Thank goodness this detective game will not use the old-fashioned language Conan Doyle used for some, for some Sherlock Holmes stories. Be careful that slippery seaman, Holmes ejaculated. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get my coat. Hey, old language. Irish. So we basically have got all these top and we've got to figure out what to do with. And then we've got a bunch of seamen who are, like, we've got these two Russians that we know who they are, we can't place them. Hamadou Dion is from Sierra Leone. He'll be one of, the one with the mustache is the evil brother. He should be one of our, uh, like, I feel like this guy, he looks to me like he's from Sierra Leone. But it's hard to say. It's hard to say. But these are the two Peters brothers, and I know that. I know that to be a, for a fact. For a fact. All right, Topman Nicholas. Topman. Shot by a gun. One of our, again, this is very, elucidate my good man. So, that's why I wear a beard, then no one can, no one can read me as evil. That's all, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Um, let us do... Let me go here for a moment. You were killed in the Doom. Sure. Look for accents. Listen for accents. Yeah, those were not accents. That was just a lot of screaming and yelling. So that will not be helpful for us at all. That's that's just, uh, that's not helpful. <laughs> we need people talking. So here's what we're gonna do. No, I wanna figure out that guy. This one. We're gonna, we're gonna follow his trail. That's what we're gonna do. Um, we, we're there. Let's go to a bitter cold, way down on the bottom deck. <laughs> His name, hey, or gummy shuriken. I wish the screams were accented. That would make everything very convenient for me. But unfortunately, I also think there's a dead body in here that might be interesting. No, in here. Like there, like, there are clearly some really obvious people that I feel like we should be able to find. Oh. Oh, no. You're cut. Scottish? Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother I, I... I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back, to save him. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan! 
Bring the surgeon's kit! Tell Pete's mother I tried my best. I think this might be it. Tell Pete's mother... Tell Pete's mother I tried my best. Tell Pete's mother I tried my best to pull him back to save him. Tell Pete's mother I tried my best to pull him back to save him. Okay. So, so, to pull him back to save him, Pete. Oi! Thomas Lanky. Tell Pete's mother. There's a Peter Milroy who was exploded. And. No. Mm -mm. If I can figure this out, we're going to get three more, like, easy peasy, everybody. But I think we've got all these people here. Yeah, like, we know what happened to that person. Uh, not you. You. And we know what happens to this person. Tell Pete's mother. And do we have Pete? The crew? Peter Milroy exploded. Do we have more than one Peter? I don't think we do. <laughs> Come on, trooper. I want to just, you know, go fight win. Peter Milroy, like, that's taken care of. Yeah. And then we've got Henry Brennan, so we've got all of that taken care of. So that, that will not help us right now. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is, we're, there's like a, a, a thing at the very bottom that might be interesting for us. Not here. Ooh, pardon me. Uh, and the very below decks in the early days that might give us some information that will be useful. Uh, but I think we need to go even, we need to go lower. Does that sound, does that sound bad? No. I love the sound of this ship. All right, so let's... Um, can we get... Can... Oh, hey, look, there's a lock. Well, that's interesting. There's also clearly some dead body down here. I feel like... Uh, I feel like there should be another body down? Like, there should be, like, a lower... No? Is that just me? Yes? No? We're... Mm. Yeah, he's the... Yeah, yeah. Keep pressure here. Uh, Hold him down. Uh, uh, what madness is this? Twenty years my steward had never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Those ungodly beasts carry a curse! Throw them back or doom us all! Tie him up and put him in the lazarette with those things. He may yet find his senses. Come on. All's fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Where's the rest of his leg? Okay. So, uh, we've got some folks here that maybe we can identify, uh, one hopes. Here's our surgeon, right? Hey, surgeon, how you doing? Um, and then this is, uh, who are you? This is that mysterious person that I really need to figure out who that is. This is... A seaman who lost their leg. Awkward. I know the organ music's really good. This is the surgeon's mate. So we have, look, in this scene, keep pressure here, hold him down, what madness is this? 
Time up. All's fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Where's the rest of his leg? So, I think we can do something about that. This guy here is the surgeon's mate. James. So his name is James. So, I feel like what this means is... Uh, that's a th This guy here must be John? I'm feeling like maybe? Let's make sure. Alfred. That's our captain. I think that's Charles Minor. Mm-hmm. This is the, uh, steward. Captain Steward Philip Dahl. Do we not know what happens to him? Hey, Falcon of Venom, how are you doing? Uh, I think we don't technically know what happened to him. Um, but I think this means that this person here must be a John. Right? So, because they called him John. And uh, let's see. Could this be John Naples? Oh, there could be a sword on the ground. Let me see. There is a sword on the ground. There is. But this guy here lost his leg, everybody. Super awkward. Um, and he uh, lost a leg. Mm. I still hurt, but I'm home for it. Well, thank goodness for, like, yay for being home for it. But this is, I think, important. But look. I think we've got a thing here. The question is, how many Johns do we have? Uh, that's a Martin. That's a James. Falcon, how are you doing, by the way? That's a Duncan. A Zungi. A Philip. Samuel. Timothy. I think... That's John Naples. Too many Johns. I think there's only one John. And I think it's this guy. And I'm gonna say that is John Naples. I think... I think so. I think that's John Naples. And one is too many. And if that's John Naples, because he's having that conversation with him, hold him down, da-da-da-da-da-da, right? This guy here is sent to the lazarette with the beasts. And if he's sent to the lazarette with the beast, uh, he's in three memories. Show memories. Uh, where, where are you? The Calling, part six? Un Holy Creatures, five, four? And this is uh, four, six? So I think five, four Unholy Captives. Yeah. Uh, this game of the thing in Discord remind me I have identity theft protection. Oh, you should. By the way, who's dying in this scene? Is it this guy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he dies. This is 5-4. Uh, and he dies. What is he dying of? I feel like we can... Uh, he has no leg. He has no leg. Third memory was gun deck. So this we're in 5-4.
this is 5-4 where we where we were right before unholy captives 5-3 and then he's up here unholy captives 5-2 unholy captives 5-1 Okay, so I think we have to sort of maybe trace him backwards. We can figure that out. Oh, go watch the space game. Equifax. Yeah, Equifax, ugh. Thank you. So look, I think, I think we might be able to get this guy if we can just figure out how he died. So let's head Let's head up there. And we're looking for the guy with the cross on his head. Yeah. Oh. All right. Wait, who are you? Not you. Who are you? Not you. You. Who are you? Not you. You. It's fine. Um, so I f I'm feeling like we should figure out can we here's my question can we figure out more from this moment here right this is my question can we because I, I I feel like we're in a like this uh, feel like we're very close you know I feel like we're very close to some things all right look we've this guy's a this guy's a black guy there's one Sierra Leone guy but I'm not quite certain which one mm, who are you oh yeah you're Lars Linda Let's see if this is it for us. So we're trying to hit backwards, you know? I think we're close. We're looking for the guy with the cross on his head. Listen. Oh, yeah, that was Lars Linda who was carrying that thing. And he tried to help. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think this is a... Uh, this guy's crushed by cargo. Our butcher. This guy is not doing well. See, these are all people peeping at this scene. This guy's carrying this cargo. <sighs> who are you? Oh, who are you? I don't think... Listen. What's your foot in? Give it to me and I can fry a solid meal, boys. <laughs> Never know. Take it slow. One sec, gentlemen. There's a free shell here. Let's have a look. No, get back. Okay. So... This might give us something, perhaps? We've gotten some more uh, this stream so far. Yeah, no, we, we got, we're in like the nitty gritty difficult part right now. So these are our, these are clearly mates, right? These are our, these are sort of third and fourth mates. I feel like this is a scene where we will learn all of the things. Also, people are getting, I'm still trying to figure out where a guy gets uh, injured. He must, maybe he loses his leg. 
Oh, hey, there's a lot going on here. Maybe we'll learn things from this moment. Like, this guy here... ...is... ...the brother who doesn't die. This guy here... ...is the one that I'm trying to figure out what happens to him. He still has his... He still has his foot. Oh, sad for you. I think this guy gets killed by a beast. Yeah, this is right before they fall down the steps, but he loses a leg. Like, he doesn't just like, he loses a full on leg. It's not like a little bit of a leg. It's a full on leg this guy loses. So there's something there at least. And you are all a proper sort of gentleman. One of our midshipmen. And you. Another midshipman. So these are our sort of officer types. And who are you? Yeah, I think you're John Naples. It's still, I'm telling you, it's still a little bit unclear to me how this guy with a cross on his head uh, loses his leg. I would never be able to handle him with so much identity recognition. Mm. You know, we're trying to do our best. And we can leave. We've seen all the scenes. But I just want to, look, this guy, I'm trying to figure out what happened to him. It is unclear to me. Hello, who are you? Oh, you're one of our... You know what, though? Are you a top man? I have a question. Do we have any seamen? Well, I called him a top man, so we'll ponder, we'll ponder that. What is happening here? There's a lot of discussions with, the, with people who are in charge of things, including our gunner and our gunner's mate, and they're talking to the captain and probably the first and second command? Yeah, it's its knee down. Did he just lose it in the accident? But that's where he dies. So does he die of blood loss? Do you know what I mean? Like what, what is his death? His manner of death? Cause like we ha we're like, we're in these moments where he dies. Like we're right there. Who are you? Okay, you're Nicholas Botterill. Maybe these are top men. Probably. Uh, one of our top men. They're coming in with this, uh, with the treasure. Another one of our top men who's electrocuted. Awkward. And you are one right of our seamen. This is all three of the three including um, our Thomas Lanky. So this is them, right? This is all of them right here. And what are you all doing? You're looking at dead bodies. Well, that's awkward. That's Charles Minor. Oh, this is our, these are our, this is our surgeon. You think the steward used this? Hmm. Oh, I don't. I. I don't think I'm super quiet, Falcon. I don't think I am. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. So these are bodies that are going to get spiked, but at this point in time, our guy, our cross-headed guy, is still alive, right? Like he's still actually. Um, he's not yet injured at this point here, and we want to figure out when his injuries happen. And if we can go, I want to get back to that next one, because maybe that's where we can pinpoint it. So it was... Is that his leg? Is that his leg? Oh, gosh. It wasn't here. 
cross-headed, our cross-headed guy. You know, our cross-headed guy. I think it was uh, this guy, right? I think. Yeah, yeah. That's the one we just were at. Which won't help us. We want the one right after this. The the body right after this. So there's a guy who's got like a, a tattoo on his head. He's got like a... Is it this body? Is that Unholy Captives? Yeah, this is the one. So we want to try to find... There has a cross on his head. Okay, so this slips, right? Right here. And the and here's our guy with a cross on his head. He's right up here. It looks like he's going to tumble and fall as everybody gets murdered here. And somehow he ends up without a leg. Which is a bit of a question for me. Right, how do we, like, at this moment, he still has his leg, right? He still has it. And then he's gonna not have it. Between now and the very next scene, which... Yeah, he did look like, it looked like he tripped over that body of that idiot. And then the next time we're gonna see him, I believe, is going to be down here. With this leg in the corner. Right? That's the next one. Four. Keep pressure here. Hold him down. What madness is this? Twenty years my steward had never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, the sewer did it. Throw them back or doom us all. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. He may yet find his senses. Come on. All's fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Yeah. Where's the rest of his leg? Yeah, actually, I agree with you all that uh, probably what happened was that the steward freaked out in a big way and hacked that guy's leg off. So, yeah, let's say that this guy um, was... Killed with a sword? Yeah. Killed with a stored sword by Philip. What's his face? Where is he? By. Where is he? Ships. Philip Dahl, Captain Steward. Yeah, the shell did something to him. So we have that. Which I I feel good about that. I'm still, like, for me, the thing is about these two brothers. Look, we've got... Because if we can get these two brothers, it's going to fill in a lot of things. We've got... Yeah. So it's these two here. Uh, Nathan Peters and Samuel Peters. And the question is, I think we have to just, I think we're gonna have to do a, they said that there's no guessing, but I do not see any indication uh, of which one is which, Nathan or Sam, Samuel, and I don't think we get any text on that. So why don't I say, why don't we call this one, uh, and they're both semen, right? So let's call this one Nathan. And let's call this one Samuel. 
uh, and we don't know if this is true. Would it be permis- uh, please, trouble, give me, give me a, give me a, give me a memory. Which memory should I look at? Of which of- yeah. Uh, trouble scum, give me a, give me a memory. We don't know if this is Samuel and Nathan, but we can check it out. And then we need, uh, trouble, give me, give me a word. We said this was Samuel? Memory 2-1. Let's see. Memory. Oh, this is a bitter cold. It's got all the people in it, right? This is where everybody, like, I remember, this is the one where we have this sort of the whole big issue with, um, uh, uh, where we get all of our Russians. This is in the Orlop deck. Let's go down there, shall we? I did want to go back to that one anyway. Uh, this is our cargo. Let's get out of here. Uh, let's escape. Let's get out of here. Will you, will you let me pass? Ugh. They're not letting me pass. It's the body bag outside the surgeon's room. Mm -hmm. That was the one where you get the Russians, but we don't have a... Hello? You shall not pass. Hi, dead body. Hey, ho hey, all you dead bodies. How are you doing? It's a lot of dead bodies. Let's see. This is this is our Orlop deck, right? No, I don't think this is the Orlop deck because we're not living out here. Orlop deck. Surgery. No, this is the cargo hold. This is not right. We should be right here. This is where we get all of our Russians. Hey, <laughs> Okay, so we're hanging out here. We've got people trying to sleep. This is our dead. This is our dead Sied. These are our three Russians, and we have this guy. That's Leonid Volkov, but here are two. This thing always gets me, right? So we have these two Russians here, and we have two Russians, but which one is which? You shall not pass, right? This is one of our Russians, and this is our other Russian, and uh. Here's the tricky thing. How do you know which one is which? Our two Russians are hanging out together. Ugh. So miserable. Because how are you supposed to know which one is which? Th wait a minute. Hold on a second. I have an idea. Do you know what? I had a thought. I had a thought about something. This is 51. There's a tag on this, right? So there's a tag on this and that is 54. What if, and we have a crew manifest, right? Let's, let's do an experiment. 54 is Solomon Sied. Okay, so this means we might be able to identify people based on their bunk number. This person has an X. How is that at all helpful? Why do you have an X on your bunk? That's not even appropriate. 53. 
51, 53, 54, I suppose you should be 56, right? Is that a possibility? Might that be a thing? It says X, which I think is a bunch of bogusness, but um, I think we just got a, a clue. So it could be 50, there's no 56. Seriously, people, why don't you love freedom? Why don't you love freedom? Why is this an X? Can I get... Mm. So, like, this person's a 54. 51, 53. I think this is going to be our... This is going to be our joy, everybody. Uh, I found 51... Let me see, hold on. Uh, this is 51, right? Oh, hold on, hold on. That's 51, 53, Akbar Trooper. 51, 53, 54. So we've got one, three, and four. One, three, and four. So that could be 52, my friend. One, three, four. If you are 52, right, Abraham Akbar. And, but, but I feel like uh, we don't have this guy identified. Oh, are you William Wasim? 53? Is that right? No, this is 51 though. This is 53. That doesn't seem right. Yeah. Oh no, we're still really good though. So Rinfin Rajub is 51, which makes sense because this would be, no, 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 that's not right. So you're 53. I think, I think we messed up with him. So I think actually, hold on. Have we, have we, yes. Okay, okay, okay. So you, okay, I got it. You are coming out of your bunk in 53. So you are 53. You're William Wasim. Oh! Oh. Yes. I feel so good about my life right now. But that also means we have somebody else we can fit in. Oh, oh my gosh. Which means you are in 51. Which means you are Renfin Raju. Uh, and did we get this guy? We did? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Brushing dust off, soldier. Okay, so this is really good. This is a 58. You're not gonna let me do anything with you, are you? Why don't you love freedom? That's a 57. Uh, ooh! The name game, come on everybody. I said, now let's play a game. I bet you I can make a rhyme out of anybody's name. The first letter of the name I treat it like it wasn't there And then a B or an F Or an M will appear And then I say Bo at a B Then I say the name Then banana fan or info And then I say the name again With an F very plain Then a Phi, Phi and a Mo Then I say the name again With an M this time And there isn't any name that I can't rhyme Wait, 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 before it's too late, wait, wait, come here, come here, wait, 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 there, um, O-C-J-V-H, origami shuriken, 
Origami Shuriken, Origami Shuriken, Bobara, Bogarami, oh wait, Origami Shuriken. Origami Shuriken, Origami Shuriken, Bo Borigami Shuriken, Banana Fena, Fofuragami Shuriken, Fifi, Momoragami Shuriken. Origami Shuriken. Mm, 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 mm. Chicken Wolf, Chicken Wolf, Chicken Wolf, Bo Bicken Wolf, Banana Fena, Fofuragami Wolf, Fifi, Momika Wolf. Chicken Wolf. Mm, 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 mm. Just Schwan, Just Schwan, Just Schwan, Bo Bus Schwan, Banana Fena, Fofus Schwan, Fifi, Mo Must Schwan. Just Schwan, mm, 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 mm. Void Smoker, Void Smoker, Void Smoker, Boy, Void Smoker, Banana Fan, Fo, Void Smoker, Fee, Fi, Mo, Void Smoker, Void Smoker, mm, 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 mm. Horace Grant, Horace Grant, Grant, Horace Grant, Bo, Boris Grant, Banana Fan, Fo, Forest Grant, Fee, Fi, Mo, Morris Grant, Horace Grant, Woo, uh, thank you so much, Vulpus, for those gift subs. That's amazing. Also, that's so nice. Uh, wh while we're doing this, by the way, I'm gonna uh, get back into the Ober Den because uh, we got a thing. That, w that origami shuriken is not easy to say is what I want to tell you. Uh, origami shuriken is, is difficult, but I take that challenge, origami shuriken. Origami shuriken. So um, I would like to maybe tag some of these people, but I don't think they'll let me, but... Ooh, thank you, I got an emote. I can't hit it. Also, what time is it? I can't see the, I probably should have. Uh, thank you for the, wait. Uh, ooh, bits. Come here, we're here, we're gonna. Just give, give me a second. Give me a second over here. There. And there. Because I need people to actually... Okay, by the way, um, if you say something in the next five minutes or so, I'm gonna we're going to do a giveaway. Our giveaway is uh, uh, Rising Storm 2 Vietnam, which is a multiplayer first-person shooter. Just make sure you say something in chat, and you'll be uh, eligible. But we do have... Or oh, coming sure again. We do have some bits that just came in from Volpez as also part of this joy. And so full on, full on, just make sure you, uh, if say something in chat if you want, if you want a giveaway. <clears throat> I'm going to sing We're in the Money as sung by uh, Ginger Rogers in the film Gold Diggers of 1933, which means I'm gonna sing it in Pig Latin. You all know the song, right? You know the song. You know the song. You know the song. In English, we're in the money. We're in the money. We've got a lot of what it takes to get along. We're in the money. The skies are sunny. Oh man, depression, you're through. You've done us wrong. No, oh, we never read headlines about bread lines today. And when we see the landlord, we can look that guy right in the eye. We're in the money. We're in the money. We've got a lot of what it takes to get along. Right, that's it in English. But we're going to do it in Pig Latin because Pig Latin is Ide Ambe. <clears throat> Airway and hey, the anime. Airway and hey, the anime. E way at gale, at way of way at 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 way E way every e way at layons lay of way at Brian's lay oot day. And when we we see the end, the order will clap the eye gear in the the eye. We're in the money, we're in the money. We've got a lot of what it takes to get along. The megaphone needs to be painted a nice masculine pink. Pig Latin is pig and Latin. I love, I love it. Isn't this just. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me something, really. Don't you think this is like the best megaphone out of all the megaphones that you could have? That's the one you want. Oh. To be honest, the English version sounds fake now. Isn't that funny how after you hear the Pig Latin so much, you're like, that English version sounds so weird. It should be in Pig Latin the entire time. Which I think is, which I think is true. Um, you know, Nightbot, we're gonna find out 
we're going to find out who the winner of our giveaway is. I don't know if it's the best microphone, but it certainly is your megaphone. That's that's fair. That's fair. Um, hey, by the way, who's our winner? Levi! Levi, Las Vegas. Hey, Levi. Hey, Levi. Hey, Levi. Hey, hey Levi. I like, see, me too. Me too, Toad. Levi's just yelling. Oh. Okay, fine. Okay. It might be, it might be, it might be Nightbot uh, stalking you. Nightbot does do that. Uh, Volpez! Volpez, this seems very fitting to me. Uh, Volpez, 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 uh, congrats, what, no, Volpez says, no, no gifts for me, <laughs> it's just, it's true, uh, Nightbot, Nightbot is, uh, that way, uh, where, what do you, Volpez is like, denied, Volpez just denied us right now, uh, it's like, oh, uh, Volpez already has it already, um, see, see, Levi, Levi, Nightbot is like, hey, hey, um, <laughs> <laughs> Nightbot has feelings, and those feelings are that either Volpez or Levi should win, uh, because that's how. Because this is when Nightbot starts messing with us. My was like, "Really, you want someone different?" No. Ooh, Origami Shuriken. Origami Shuriken. Origami Shuriken. Uh, how how are you? How 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 are you? Uh, I would like. I'm going to whisper you. A, uh, I'm going to whisper you a, a, a Steam code for uh, for this is the Steam code for Rising Storm Two Vietnam. Uh, maybe you want to like shoot some people, like you know. I mean that that is entirely possible. Uh, <laughs> and there, done it. Yes. <sighs> now I feel very good about that. I feel like. All is right with the world. Um, so here's the thing that's very interesting. I think we're in a really like important, oh, hold on. I almost started the wrong game. I almost started the wrong game. Uh, the best part of Ari Shur or Ari Shurikun is that they are not either Levi nor Volpez. What if they are? Uh, I'm gonna start naming Nightbot Brad. Ooh, I wonder if we could actually rename Nightbot to be Brad. Could we do that? I feel like some people have been able to rename their Nightbots. Can we rename ours? Because I feel like we should be able to, right? Maybe? This is a 47. I feel like, look, I'm having, I'm having thoughts about this. Um, you'd have to run your own bot client. Whatever, Nightbot. So who's 47? Who's 47? And will that give us a clue about something? It's not that hard, actually. Crew, 47. Who's on 47? Who's on first? 47 is Alexei Toporov. So one of these is Alexei, but I knew that. But which one of these is Alexi? Why? Okay, hold on. Alexi's a smoker. Alexi smokes a pipe, everyone. So, Alexi smokes a pipe. Keep that note for later, because maybe we can uh, see someone smoking, <laughs> someone smoking a pipe, right? Uh, and can I get any of you people? What I would like them for me to do is like, could, if I can like focus on their foot, they'd let me, come on. Like, why won't they let me tag all of these people? That seems really unfair, but that, but that is not a pipe. That is not a pipe. It seems very unfair to me that they will not let me tag when I want to tag. That seems inappropriate. Do we have other memories down here, though? Like, maybe we could, uh... get around that somewhere? 
Oh, hey, I had an idea. No, that doesn't help me. Uh, wait, there's a pipe somewhere in this scene? Yeah, right here, right? There's a pipe right there. And this bag is on Alexi's... That's a 45 and a... What is this? 47, 45... It's probably a 46. Um, so... Yeah. Here's the thing. These are our two... These are our two Russians right here. And I suppose what we can say is that Alexi smokes a pipe. So... Maybe this might help us in some way. Uh, no pipe here. No pipe here. But we had this guy here as our other one. A pipe, pipe of what? So this guy, when we see him in four memories, seven, five, three, you're in four memories on the deck map. Murder, bitter cold. The calling, hmm. So here's the thing, we have a clue about our Alexi a little bit, sort of, maybe. Oh, he's in a lot of memories. Ugh. We don't have that one yet, but here's what I'm thinking, everyone. We have more... Alexi smokes a pipe. Uh, trouble scum. I'm... Troublesome, troublesome, not trouble scum. That's totally different. I want to ping these people. I want to ping them so bad. But we have a clue now. I think we have to leave the scene. And see if we can find more bodies down here. No, I, no, you're, you, you are not in any way trouble scum. I have only love. That's that's it. Just so so you know. So, this is the cargo hold. I don't think there are any uh, hammocks down here, right? Oh, there are bunks. <laughs> Some of the earth. Uh, if I hit, um, what happens if I hit? Here's my question: If I hit this body. This is Bitter Cold Part 2. <laughs> Can we find more things? Because I feel like we've just hit... Same as the other fellow. Some lung disease. Not a consumption. <laughs> Made worse by the cold. We it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him? <laughs> what are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. That's not good. The most important thing is, oh yeah, it's the monkey all day. So here's my question. Do we have any other, we probably don't have numbers, but I bet we do have. You're the surgeon's mate. Laudanum life. Here's the thing about this guy. He's just, oh, he was moved. Oh, this is, we're probably in the doctor's office right now. Yeah, that's where we're at. So we're in the doctor's office with his friends, probably. Yeah. Yeah, 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 right, right. Uh, may also may I point out a random detail regarding a fake? Yes, please do. Please do. If it's a yes, if there's a random detail, I love it. Now, okay, we've got some people guarding. Check out the cute box under the bed. Get 
get out of my way. There's a little box down there. That one? Oop, not you. I wish I could uh, push people out of the way, but I clearly cannot. And that makes me sad. I cannot get there. Bedpan, though. And I can't get up here. I wish I could, like, break into people's... Oh, hey. Lazarette. I wish I could break into people's homes. I mean, I don't mean that in a, you know, that kind of a way. <laughs> or do I? Maybe I do. Hmm. Maybe we'll just hit this other side a little bit. Find something interesting. Perhaps. There are a lot of bunks here. That's literally the same box that was in the boat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 that's so, but wait, wait, hold on. Oh, yes, that makes sense. Ooh, that's a nice little detail. That is a nice little detail. And I can't go up any other direction. Yes. So, we just did Bitter Cold Part 2 with that body. I'm thinking of something. We are currently, we're currently here, right? in the Orlop deck, where we have the surgery, the purser's office, starboard walk, carpenter shop, gunner's store, passengers, which we've seen. I feel like uh, we should know who the purser is, and I can never find the purser in their office, and that's very frustrating. Or here's the purser's office, and I'm like, who is hanging out here? So what I want to do is I want to find more ability to hide dead people. I feel like there's gotta be more bodies. Where? More bodies. Sorry, that sounds really bad, right? And that sounds really bad. They're present. He's present. They're present. He's present. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if we hit the... Oh, this is the slaughter on the Orlop deck. Let's go here because that might help us out as well. We are currently Orlopping it. Is that is that a, is that a verb? Can you can you can you Orlop things? Let's um go there. So we might be able to catch some more people this way. Because. Let her hear. One swing. Get true to skull in stone or brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <laughs> you all right there, sir? <laughs> Never been on a farm, John. Nope. Find your shoes now. You can Orlop things you like if you like the cheapest vodka Maine has to offer. It's the worst. That's probably true. So now here's the question that I've got. Can we... Because I feel like we know all of these people. Uh, yeah, I feel like we know all of these people. And what happened to them. But what I'm wanting is... Oh, poor Charlie. I'm wondering if we've got any other, um... People's... Hello, how are you doing? Oh, this is them taking their friend away, huh? That's sad. I'm sorry about that guy. Ook, ook. Yeah, 
I feel I feel sadly for you them. Like that's But This is not where I want to be. I think I want to be downstairs, right? Where everybody hangs out. Because the Orlop deck, Orlop deck, does not seem to be full of... This is... This is probably where I want to be a little bit. But the thing is, can we find... Uh... Oof. What I'm looking for is the ability to sort of place bunks with people's... Uh... Bunks with people's names because that will be really, really helpful. And the question is, who is sleeping where? Whose bunk is this? This is uh, 44. Monkeys cannot be trusted on a boat. Crew, 44. 44 is Lewis Walker one of the top men from England. Huh. <laughs> Monkeys belong on boats the same way snakes belong on planes. Let's see if we are on the cargo deck. If we can just find... Um, You know what? I wonder. I wonder if maybe we might be able to learn more about people in a more interesting way by... Hello, my dead friend. Because I think that we've got... I feel like we might be able to get... Like, where does everybody sleep? Somebody's got bowel problems. Oh, Mr. Poopyhead. It did not sound pleasant. Like, I think he was... Oh, our artist is having a very sad life. A very, very sad life indeed. Uh... And, people, and this guy's like, hey, what was going on over there? And you're like, it was bad. But you... The cause of death, excessive huggins. Excessive huggins. So, he's dying. Let me, come on. I wish they'd let me like ID those people. But they do not love freedom. There's a nice sword here. People are trying to... S okay, hold on. We've got two people here. All right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, at least we're able to channel it into his art. That's true. So we've got... This person. And then we've got this person. All right, so I think... What, what is this? This is a uh, 40... Uh, what is that? 40... Come on, get out of my way. 40... Mm. See, these people are, are clearly working out near their area. What's on this side? Maybe we can do some deduction here. What are you? You're a 43? You're a 43. You are a 44 and a 40... You're a 43. Yes. So that's a 43 and a 44. You are a 45. 43, 44, 45. Uh, that could be a 40... Okay, let's... Let's see what's on this side, though. What are you? You're a 56. 
57. Bringing food into people. Third mate. I bet you are the th third mate's steward. Yeah, that makes sense. You are again an X, which is irritating. Is that a 41? Looks like it could be. Let's see who's in our uh, crew at 41. Ah, Wai Li, our top man from China. Which would say this guy here then is Wei Li. Hello. Now, if that is true, and this guy is close to him, and this guy is not, let's see if if he's he's either he could be Lewis Walker, right? Because he's a uh, I don't think we had a 44, which is probably wrong, but no, because that's a 44 and he's not Lewis Walker. So he is not Lewis Walker because Lewis Walker is sleeping right now. Yes. So we know he's not Lewis Walker because he is, he might be Timothy Budemont. Timothy Budemont is uh, 37. It's possible, but he's a top man, right? So we know he's a top man, and we know that he is not 44, because 44 is sleeping. He does not look uh, Chinese to me, which I think would make him Buterman. Yeah, right? That guy does not look Chinese to me. So I think he might be Timothy Buterman because that's a number that is uh, not taken. I would like to write 43, 44, 43, 44, 45. 43, 44, 45 are all um, no, because I actually saw him in the, um, I believe I saw him up in the rigging earlier. 43, 44, 45. Yeah, I, because I believe in the one scene where everybody's up in the riggings, I believe he was in the riggings. Uh, so I think that is why I'm thinking that about him. Because he was up there. 56. I think that was pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. uh, poor sad dead guy. Let's see if we can find any other corpses around here that might help us... Uh, identify things but these are all people who got killed when the cargo was going and I don't think uh, that is super helpful he's down below hauling a line this guy hmm Let's see, hold on. Let's look at our sketch. Oh. So let's have him be unknown for the moment. Let's have him be unknown for the moment. Um, how many, how many one, two, three, four. We don't know about him. And 
we want more... We're at, we're up at the top. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? I want more access to their... Um, you know, sleeping. Because that's clearly shenanigans. People are all here. Watch your tin. I'm a little sad that there are a bunch of people that I cannot, um, like I cannot find the person that makes me sad. No, that's not going to be helpful to anyone. Ooh, nine o'clock. Thank you, Jer. So we, we did a lot of sort of subtle stuff. Let me look at the crew manifest. I don't know what happened to him. Who do we have that's sort of not yet confirmed? Wei Lee, the topman, who actually I feel good about that. We've got the Peters. So we've got some people who are not right. We have some people who are not right. Oh, uh, Nathan Peters. We have some people who are not right. I'm going to switch them. I'm going to say that this is Samuel. Oh, I'm going to say unknown. And I'm going to put, I'm going to have this be Nathan. And this Samuel. Oh! Wait, we've got three more correct. Samuel Peters. Renford Rajoub. And Wei Li. Okay, this means we can fill in one more. We can, do they only do three at a time? Do they only do three at a time? Because we can do, um, if you look at the sketch, yes, so this guy, Samuel Peters is crushed by cargo. This is Nathan Peters and Nathan Peters kills Lars Linde. So he's killed by Nathan Peters. And yes, but that does mean that we have some people who are not correct. So this guy is not John Naples. We know that only in sets of three, except for the rare occasion when not, but usually assume. So I think that John Naples is probably not correct. Uh, so we, so that guy is not John, but there is a John in that one scene. Oh, you know what the problem might be? The problem might not be that he's not John, John, what's his face, but that we might have his means of death wrong. Oh, he was totally spiked. Maybe he wasn't spiked. This is a rough voyage, but look at this. We've got almost all of them, I think is what I'm feeling like we have, we're only missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think that's right. 14, 15, 16, 17. We're only missing 17 people. And I don't even know if we can get all of them right now because some of them I think we might not be able to get until the end. So, I feel really good about that. Um, yeah, and we have got, we've got to figure out who that is, but we've just got to, right? There's specifically two people that you can't interface for. Okay, so there are two people we can't necessarily get. Okay, I need to figure out who this person is. This person is killing me. But this person is also clearly, um, 
one of the... So this person here, based on their uniform, is either Duncan, Zungi Safi, or Samuel Galligan. They're one of those three people because their uniform is like the uniform of somebody who's... Uh, like, these are one of the sort of the mate's uniforms. Uh, so we've got like purser, ship steward, second mate steward. One of one of those three people. That is who we've got. That's one of those three people. Because they're clearly not uh, one of our <laughs> generically sad, um, you know. We don't have that many top men left, I don't think. Eh, well, you know. We'll work it out. But, but, so I'm just seeing who we still have to figure out. That's one of our Russians. These are our two Russians. We can just figure out which one's the smoker. Then we can have, we can figure it out. Like, which one is the smoker. We can figure that out. We are good. Uh, in a, like, yeah. I'm feeling really good about our life. I'm just, I'm just saying that we've done, we just have got a couple of people left and we have, that guy can't be John Naples. That's not a seaman's uniform. That is not a seaman's uniform. Yes, so we're gonna go back to unknown but that is not a seaman's uniform. So we'll have to come back to that one. Um, but I think, like we've done really well. Yeah, we've done really well. I'm feeling good about my life. Yeah, and then we have to figure out those people in the bargain. Maybe he's a picker and a grinner and a lover. A joker, a smoker, a midnight toker? Could be, but I think I'm gonna just call him the space cowboy. Do you know? I, I just feel like I'm gonna call him a space cowboy. Maybe a, uh, uh, yeah. I feel like he's a space cowboy. Look, we have, like, look at this. We are so good, everyone. We've got most people. Most people we've got. Yeah, maybe we'll just call him Earl. That's what, we're gonna call him Earl. So, y'all, I've got to get food, but I am going to be hosting Critical Role on this channel in an hour. If you want to hang out and watch Critical Role in a channel that is very friendly, uh, uh, maybe we should call him Maurice, Cher. We should call him Maurice. Um, then you can, you, can, you can find me here in an hour. But otherwise, you can come and find me on Saturday at noon Eastern time, where I'll be playing the Outer Worlds. And then on Sunday, 3 p.m., uh, I'll be doing uh, the... I'll be running the RPG Cthulhu Confidential Capital Color Part 2 with Algernon Bolden from Hairbrain Schemes. And uh, Kalan, sleep well Sundays. And then next Wednesday will be Part 3 of The Witcher. And... Uh, People have secrets, everyone. My character has secrets. Uh, <laughs> I mean, my character has secrets, but it's it's fine. It's fine. Um, the yeah, I'm having such a good time with The Witcher. Um, m again, my character has secrets. That's that's a thing to tell you all. But like, I'm not the only character with secrets, everyone. Other people's character has secrets too. So I mean, you know, that's all I'm saying. Uh, but. <sighs> I just, I don't, look, I feel like there's some kind of conspiracy going on in this game. I have information that other people don't have and um, we might need to start sharing some of these secrets. Like, there, there, there are things, like there are things that don't make sense to my character. Like it does not make sense to my character that Kel Halo, the sort of the Magus uh, regional for the North, would make a a writ to execute Ezekon the Witcher and Shilaloon the Witcher's pal. Like that doesn't make any sense to my character at all. Like why would the the regional mage do that? That seems very distressing, 
and uh, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna you know, uh, and you're like, wait a minute, why do you why are you so convinced that that would not be a thing that makes sense? I have reasons why I'm so convinced. So like something has happened, something has gone very wrong. What is that thing? I don't know. But something has gone very wrong, and uh, we're gonna have to just um, figure that out on next Wednesday. So, in an hour, here, here for the the critical role. Saturday, The Outer Worlds. Sunday, Cthulhu Confidential. Wednesday, The Witcher, and then we're back around. That's it. I'm gonna see you all later. I'm gonna catch you. Oh, wait. So sorry. Uh, me thinks you and the DM are communicating on a simple, you know, I need to quit out of this game. Hold on a second. Let me quit out of the, quit out, uh, quit to title, because I want to do a thing, but I can't do it if I don't have access to my keyboard. Um, so here, it, here, here are my socials. If you want, you can follow whoosh, up there. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to, but if you want to, uh, that's great. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then you can also join our, our Discord. We have a Discord. You can join us and hang out with us and chat. Uh, you can also find the archive of all the shows on uh, you, YouTube under Trooper SJP. Also, you can find me on Academic Foxhole on Twitter. Also, I have a Patreon which is also under Academic Foxhole, and that is there to help support the RPGs, to help pay the cast, and uh, pay the artists and the commissioning and and all of that goodness. So, you know, if you want to support, you can also do that, because I will be starting this French Resistance campaign uh, in uh, in March, March 6th, I suppose. I've got to set up some... I've got to set up some Google Docs, and I'm going to be doing that after I order some food. So I will see you. I will catch you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. You all are the best... And I give you all of the love, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Thanks for being here, everybody. I will see you in an hour. I'm going to get some food. Bye, everybody.